Hi love bug, this is Priya, your Love Plus Manifestation Coach. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to manifest your specific person without taking any action. But before I do, if you are somebody who desires a clear roadmap to manifest your specific person into your reality with ease, Click the link below in the description box to get access to my free masterclass, Six Steps to Manifest Your Epic Love Life, where I systematically show you how to effortlessly get from where you are to where you want to be in your love life with regards to your specific person. Now that I've made you aware of this, let's get back to the theme of this video how to manifest your specific person without taking any action. Now, the first thing that you wanna understand here is that when you're truly manifesting something specific into your reality, you're never trying to make it happen. Right? You never chase it, you're never trying to look for it. When you're truly an energetic match to your specific person, you allow it to come to you effortlessly. So what this means is if you're allowing it to come to you effortlessly, then you're never taking action to try and make it happen. Instead, your only focus should be on your energy work, on your the vibrational work that you do, from the knowingness that once you become an energetic match to what you want, there will be a bridge of events that will unfold that will lead you to your manifestation, that will lead to the manifestation of you being with your specific person. Now, if you wanna know more about what I mean by a bridge of events unfolding, I have a video on this called Can You Manifest Love Without Taking Any Action? I will put it in the description link below for you to check out. But the main message is that when you are focusing on your vibration, when you're focusing on your energy and you're, you're, you are in full blown manifestation mode, you're never taking any action to make your manifestation happen. Instead, you're allowing it to come to you. You become a magnet, you stay grounded and anchored in the energy of already having your specific person and you allow it to come to you. So now let's talk about, okay, well, how do you manifest your specific person without taking any action? What's the process? Well, this is about shifting your self-concept. Now, your self-concept is king because your self-concept is what you become a magnet for. Now, what is your self-concept? Well, your self-concept is your internal talk. The stories that you tell yourself, the stories that go in go on in your mind, consciously or unconsciously, and the stories that you tell out loud to your friends and your family, consciously and, and unconsciously. These, this forms, all of this forms your self-concept. So as an example, if right now the story that you're telling or the story that you have is my specific person left me, they told me they never wanna be with me, I feel really depressed, I feel really heartbroken, I don't know what to do, I feel really lost. If that's the story that you keep telling and if that is the state of consciousness that you're living at, that you're dwelling at, then this is what you are becoming a magnet for. This is what you are a magnet for. And so when this becomes your self-concept, it means that now you have an identity that says, my specific person doesn't love me, they don't want me, um, and I feel really depressed. And so this is the signal that you begin to project to the universe, that you begin to emit to the universe, God, source, your higher self, whatever you wanna call it. And the universe is always responding to your energy. It's always responding to the signal that you are emitting. So, when the signal that you're emitting is your self-concept and your self-concept is saying, I don't have my specific person, they don't love me, they hate me, or whatever story it is that you have going on that does not align with what you want, you become a magnet for it. You project a signal and the universe responds to this. And so then you're going to manifest more evidence into your life to demonstrate to you that you don't have your specific person. In other words, to simplify this even further, when your self-concept is not aligned with what you want with regards to your specific person, you block off your manifestation. You're not on the same wavelength 
as your desire. So your desire, there is a version right now of you and your specific person together that is living happily ever after. And this exists at a specific frequency, meaning it has a specific wavelength. Now, in order for you to perceive this version of you that already has your specific person, you have to get on the same wavelength. And the way in which you get on the same wavelength is that you become an energetic match to your desire. You embody the energy of already having your specific person right here now in the present moment. And I can tell you that this is due to shifting your self-concept. This is caused by you shifting your self-concept. So when you shift your self-concept to align with what you want, when your self-concept becomes, my specific person loves me, they adore me, we are happily married, um, we have been together for 10 years and we've had the most magical romance ever and our love life keeps getting better and better and we keep expanding together through alignment and through joy and harmony and balance and we have the best relationship in the world and we have kids now and whatever that story is for you, okay? When that begins to be the story that you tell yourself, when you rearrange the stories that you're telling yourself around your specific person and, you know, you do this repetitively, repetitively and from an elevated emotion that now this becomes your default story. Now you've reprogrammed your mind to really believe this, that this is the default story that you're telling. This is, becomes your belief. This is when you have shifted your self-concept. This is now when your self-concept aligns with what you want. Now, when this happens, the energy that you're projecting out to the universe is, I already have my specific person, me and my specific person are living happily together. Guess what? You are going to manifest evidence to support that. That is how you are going to manifest your specific person into your experience effortlessly. Now, to go deeper into what I've just shared with you here, ultimately, it comes down to this. Everybody is you pushed out. What do I mean by this? I mean, everybody is a reflection of you. So when it comes to manifesting your specific person, your specific person, the role that your specific person is playing is the role that you are assigning to them. And the role that you assign to them is through your self-concept. So when you say my specific person doesn't love me, doesn't want me, that's the role that you're assigning to them. That's the role they have to play. When you shift your self-concept to my specific person loves me, adores me, cherishes me, they love being with me, they love being in a relationship with me, they love being married to me, this becomes your self-concept and that becomes the role that you assign to them. So now this is what shows up in your reality. Now, a lot of people, when it comes to manifesting a specific person, you know, um, people um, begin to kind of question, what about free will? How does free will play into this, right? Um, you know, when you're manifesting a specific version of somebody, aren't you imposing on somebody else a free will? No, because there isn't one version of you that exists or of your specific person that exists. There are infinite versions of you and your specific person that exists. And so what is really happening is that you're shifting yourself into a timeline where there is a version of you and your specific person that is together. And you do that by aligning your vibration with that timeline, shifting your self-concept to align with that timeline. Now, if you want to go into more details um, on this and how this works, parallel realities and, you know, the fact that you're never really imposing on somebody else's free will, you're just shifting into a timeline where what you want in your love life or what you desire in your love life already exists, then you want, you can click the link below in the description box. I will put a link there um, where I have a video called um, Manifesting a Specific Person Versus Free Will. And in there I go into... Um, much more detail <laughs> but for now all you need to know is you're never imposing on somebody else's free will because we are multi-dimensional beings living in a multi-dimensional universe time is not linear that is an illusion and there isn't only one version of people or of us so my main message for this video is that in order to manifest your specific person without taking any action it's about you first changing your self-concept. You have to focus internally on shifting your self-concept, on reprogramming your mind. You have to begin to tell a better story that aligns with what it is that you desire when it comes to you and your specific person. So this is about rearranging your mind because when you do this, you become a magnet for something else. When you do this, when you align your self-concept with what you want, that that is when you become a magnet for what you want. So when your self-concept is aligned with what you want with regards to your specific person. So when your self-concept is, 
my specific person loves me, they adore me, they love being in a relationship with me, we're so happy together. And that's a story that you tell regardless of what is going on in your external environment. So you have to be able to transcend your five senses and ignore your current reality and instead turn inwards and make your inner reality more real. When you can do this through shifting your self-concept, your specific person must conform to the new role that you're assigning them. So now this means they have to show up in your reality as that version that you now believe is true in your mind. So they have to show up as that version that loves you. And this is how you manifest without taking action, right? You shift your self-concept so that your external reality morphs into what you want. Now, when it morphs into what you want, what will happen is you'll, you'll suddenly get that text or that call from your specific person saying, hey, let's meet up. And then, you know, they confess to you how much they love you and they want to be with you, et cetera, et cetera. Like there will be a bridge of events that will unfold. But my point is you don't have to take any action to make it happen. The only thing that you need to do is focus on shifting your self concept around your specific person. That's the work. Now, if this video resonated for you, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I post new videos around how to manifest your epic love life. Catch you soon.